Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Mel Chadwick. If you're new here, I'm a freelance illustrator and I also love to sketch and draw. I wanted to share with you my finished mole scheme that I completed back in February and I thought it was about time that I actually did, did a tour of it. Let's jump in. To start with, this is a moleskin, a art moleskin, so the paper is quite thick. As you can see it's landscape and the way I've used it is mostly landscape as well. I've also used a Pentel brush pen for most of the work along with my Koi watercolour set because most of these pictures I did whilst on the move. So these were done from October last year to February of this year, 2018. Okay, so first pages, double spread. This was actually in my parents' house because we had to move out of our rental place for a week so we went up to theirs whilst they were away and this was breakfast time on Monday the 23rd. So I started doing the sketchbook because I wanted to kind of do a more visual journal so you'll see that I started off quite well with my date, time and a little bit of blurb and you can see that I've labelled different bits in the drawing. I quite like this way of, of recording information. So on that same day, I also went to my sister's for lunch. We had nice coconut, chilli and butternut squash soup with some cheese and bread. And again, I really like the layout for this and being able to label up the items. This was of the curtains in my parents bedroom and I thought I wanted to try and capture them. And then this was my makeup that I was using for a day of filming with my nephew Ethan. And if you look on my YouTube channel, you'll see that um, art challenge is up. That was from October though, last year. Also used these plants in the film, in the art drawing challenge. And I really like drawing these plants. They just got a lot of character. And I really like the style with the black outline and then the color wash on top. So as you can see, this was dinner time. And then a next day, another breakfast, another tea. I love this design on the cup. So I really wanted to capture that. And then I decided to draw some of the objects in my parents' house. I don't know about you, but these are very common in the UK, these kind of doggy kind of ornaments. They've got such a character. So on the 26th of October, this was when I was doing a lot of filming and um, doing a voiceover where I was using this voiceover mic. And this is the first time actually that I was doing a proper voiceover. These are all the lists of topics that I wanted to talk about because we were doing Inktober at the time. And I think it was the final few days where I had kind of finished my alphabet and then I just wanted to talk about some things relating to art whilst also drawing. So these were the notes that I made. Okay, so the next day, I actually say here that I wanted to sketch more outside. 
So this was actually the beginning, I guess, of doing that. It's actually really interesting to have a record of that because so much of my work now I is outside, I sketch outside, I regularly go out, take my sketchbook and just start drawing. So it's funny actually to see the beginning of that um, idea. And you can see I went on to draw this cafe, Shirley's Cafe. I really love the lettering that was on that sign. And then this was to the Seven, seven Beach, Seven Way. And then here is the view, very nice view of Seven. This is the River Seven. It's quite an industrial kind of place we were in. Even though you've got all of this natural beauty, there was like, I think a recycling plant up here and then you've got some wind farms. And then this is the Seven Bridge, which takes you then over to Wales. And we used to actually live on the other side. So we used to live in Wales and then look this way. So it's funny now that my parents are living on this side and now looking <laughs> that way. And then this was the day we spent in Portishead. And I remember again, think, feeling quite self-conscious about drawing outside and with people around. But the view was really beautiful and it was really sunny that day. And then this was a cup of tea, which I've written here that I got carried away with the black brush pen. So it looks really dirty. And I agree, it probably does. <laughs> but sometimes, you know, you just get carried away with these things. Sometimes you have to experiment a bit, don't you, in order to find what works and what doesn't. I just really like the pattern that was on this mug. And this is actually a mug that I use regularly to drink out of. So we're now back in Cornwall and this is at the chocolate factory where we have our coffee mornings on Thursdays every other week and you always get a selection of chocolate, free chocolate, which I can recommend and this saffron tea cake, the saffron tea cakes are just so delicious. So this is when I was in Truro. I was waiting for Tony to have his beard trim and I decided to have a go at drawing the cathedral. I don't know, I think I started over this direction and then worked my way across. I didn't quite realize how much detail there was to do in the piece. At some point it would be great to do like the full cathedral and actually you know, do a big piece. So this is the view in Falmouth where I was working. Um, I was due to work at about nine and I think I got here about half eight. So I only had about 10 minutes to do this sketch. And, you know, all I could really capture were the boats and a bit of the land. And this was a view from our window. Again, I didn't really have a lot of time to do this, but I just thought I should try to get into the habit of sketching regularly. And that was kind of at the beginning of that. And here's another breakfast. As you can see, I really enjoy drawing my breakfast and tea. I think at the time I was just thinking I wanted to draw and sketch and the only way that that seemed to happen was at breakfast time at the start of the day when I have a bit of time to think. So this was drawn in the evening and we've got some veg and some chicken and I just really like the colours and I think I just wanted to capture the, the colours. Okay, so this was at Outlaw Craft Fair, which I actually filmed a lot of and I've got a little kind of vlog on it on my channel. 
Um, I did really want to sketch a lot more, but all I managed was like this. <laughs> But you know, sometimes these things happen, don't they? But I, you know, this is the first sketch that I'd done which actually has people in it. Um, and I sat kind of like here and there were just like crowds of crowds of people and all I could do was just sketch and draw. And it's funny, actually, I can really remember feeling quite self-conscious about drawing people. And I think there were a couple of people here who were watching what I was doing and but overall, I think I've managed to capture the general sense of the atmosphere that was there, which was very busy, uh, crowded, people were excited to be there. And then here was the contents of my free tote bag, which I got for being early. And yeah, that was a fun way to remember what I was given, just to draw it. And then here is the Remembrance Day service, which was on the 12th of November. And it was so cold that day. It was really, really windy. You can see people have got hats, bubble hats and massive coats. And then it was funny because it was so windy and the vicar's, um, what are they called? vestments I think anyway his cloak it was like blowing everywhere and it was really hard to hear what he was saying because it was so windy um, and then we've got also the veterans with their uniforms and they were carrying the poppy reefs and I really like the idea of just capturing a bit of that on this page but it was so cold And then this was the view from our car in Long Rock, Long Rock Car Park, overlooking, um, this is St. Michael's Mount. And Marazion is just here, so Long Rock's here. And it was just a really, again, a quick sketch. I really loved the yellow on the rocks, which is quite popular in and around Cornwall to see is like this kind of yellow moss that grows on the, the rocks. And then we went into Marazion. So here is a cafe, which I really love the look of. It's a very tall, old building, very slim as well. I thought it would fit perfectly on this um, orientation. So that was the first one that I did actually this way as well. Probably would have been nice to have continued it down, but I only had um, about 20 minutes to just do this sketch. And then we had um, a little tea break in uh, Godolphin Arms, and this was the view. Again, it's very similar to, to that view, but we're just slightly over and a bit closer. It was very sunny that day as well. But again, you can see I just had time to do the black and then used my um, black watercolor here just to do a simple wash. And again, I used that similar style for this building, which was the chocolate factory. <laughs> I realized that I seem to spend a lot of time in cafes and Drinking tea. <laughs> this was actually in a hospital waiting room, which I thought was ideal because the people who were there didn't tend to move that much, which meant it was great for me um, working on studying people and what they look like and managing to capture them. This lady, you can see, had this lovely yellow coat on and I really, um, wanted to just draw attention to her so that's why I've only coloured her in and then kind of have like this little painting behind which is a nice contrast to the yellow. Back in Truro again, um, unfortunately on this day I forgot to fill up my pencil brush pen so you can see that the lines are a lot more um, scrappy and they run out a little bit here. So I had to pull out my fine liner, 
and continue the line work. I'm not too sure if I like this though. It feels like a bit kind of lopsided and the perspective is slightly off. But anyway, I learned from that to, to um, remember to see if my pen was full. This was when we were in Penzance um, on the high street. It was freezing on this day, but I thought I'd just take 10 minutes to just draw some of these older buildings. I really like these bay windows and I really loved the um, flag, the banner that was on this inn, and I wanted to capture that. And then a couple of days later, we this is um, in the lounge and um, we were watching a film called American Maid and I thought I'd just kind of sketch um, just the environment and I did the whole of the lounge then so this is Tony in front of his kind of computer master station then all the technical technology stuff here leads watches yeah Again, just really wanted to capture where I was and saw it as a good challenge to do. Plus he didn't move that much, so that was, that was good. So I continued drawing people and this was in the Barbers in Truro. Um, quite an unusual space because it's quite small. So people would wait here, that's the front door, and I had to basically cut, go up some steps, which are here, and then look down. So this was actually a, a Star Wars ship, because the whole theme of the Barbers is Star Wars based. It's called Jabba the Cut, so everything in there is kind of on the theme of Star Wars. And this is another view of the Barbers. So that one took me about 10 minutes and then I spent another 10 minutes doing this because Tony was having his beard and hair done and I knew, I knew I had limited time to draw. So this was like sitting down in the waiting area looking that way. Interestingly, actually Jabba the Cut has now moved and they're, they're around the corner so it'd be quite cool to draw it again. So now we are actually on to my supply. So a lot of you will know if you've been watching my vlog, I am in the middle of completing my Drawing Paul Flevin book. I'm actually going to be launching the Kickstarter this week. So I'm quite excited about that. And these are all the materials that I use on my sketch walks. So you can see I've got my trusty Pentel brush pen, my pocket watercolour set, water brush, a little mole skein and my phone. So all these supplies will be put into the book. And then I also drew a lot of the names and street signs around Port Levin and again all of these will be in the book. I really enjoyed actually doing the lettering. And then this is actually, I really love this image. Um, the, the house was called Water Witch and this was kind of like the ornament that's outside on the wall. And I just really love it because it's got all funny little crows. I think they're crows and then the nest. And I just really love the style of it. Little crab. And then look at these words, these names. More gollop. <laughs> and... Mwiden, Morgaro, Chaloena, Chaloena, Chaloena. They're all kind of Cornish names for housing. These were just um, objects that were in a friend's house. And as you can see, more names. This really old building from 1818. 
and she allowed me to look around and draw the different things on the wall. And then finally we have, on the 9th of February, um, I had to take the car in for an MOT and so I took my book with me and decided to sketch the boating lake. And I can remember it being freezing cold on this day. <laughs> and I was just like kind of huddled up with my coat and my scarf and my hat and quickly kind of scribbling um, everything in front of me. I remember thinking that um, the first time I actually really had to draw a lot of trees because um, yeah, most of the other things I've done have been inside or have involved buildings rather than trees. I also drew some wildlife as well. And my final page is the little ducks and the seagulls and little birds that were all kind of on the lake. And again, it was quite tricky because they do move really fast and you don't realise how quickly they move around. So you're almost having to do like gestural kind of markings and then hope that they all fit together. Um, but yeah, it's definitely really good to practice for um, drawing wildlife is when you can actually see it in front of you. I think you just get a, so much better understanding of their shape and what they look like. So yeah, that's the end of this book. So as I said earlier, I am gonna be launching my Kickstarter for my Drawing Pour for Leaven book this week, so I will let you know when it is live and I'm looking forward to hearing your thoughts on that as well. So I hope you guys are well and I will speak to you again soon.